Actually, Dr. Krishnendra Nandi has to rush back to Calcutta. Uh, his mother is not doing well. So um, he has given the slides. If you allow me, I can present the slides. Yeah. Correct. So uh, he had the topic of peripheral retinal surprises in cataract surgery. <coughs> so the risk factors, the incidence of RD with the types of cataract surgery, this, this was noted with, uh, from the different literature studies. ICC had a, uh, a percentage of 2 to 5 percent RD, ECC 0 to 3.6, FACO still less, 0 0.8 to 1.3. But when there is a vitreous loss, the RD uh, percentage goes up by 20%. In post EAG, within the first year, it's 0 0.8. Within the second year, it's 1.2. Peripheral retinal degenerations, uh, the most common uh, is the lattice degeneration. There are degeneratives, so retinoschisis, cystic, cystic retinal tufts, and zonular traction tufts. So I'd like to uh, highlight a few cases where, where what we encounter in our clinics on a regular basis and sort of the dilemma we sometimes have whether to undergo cataract in these situations. Say the patient has come in for cataract surgery, 57-year-old female, myopic, minus 6 and uh, minus 6 in both the eyes, BCVA 618. On indirect ophthalmoscopy, you are getting multiple lattice degenerations. No symptoms. Patient wants cataract surgery. Do you go ahead? Is a situation. Let's next. I go. I'll go over to the case two. Thirty-seven year old male, myopic, minus twelve, both eyes. BCVS six twenty-four. Symptoms: patient complaints of flashing. There is no family history of RD. IO: multiple lattice degeneration with an HST. You can see the fundus picture. So patient wants cataract surgery. Shall I go ahead straight away? Situation three. Sixty-two year old male came for a routine checkup. On examination, myopia, minus 1 diopters, uh, BCVA 612, IO shows single lattice in the superior temporal quadrant in both the, with atrophic holes present. Patient wants cataract surgery. Shall I go ahead? Case 4, 67 year old male, myopic, minus 5, left eye lost due to surgery, RD surgery. Symptoms are dimness of vision due to cataract. Indirect ophthalmoscopy shows lattice degeneration with holes. This patient needs cataract surgery. Can we go ahead? Fifth one, 76 year old male, cataract, IO, retinoschisis in the periphery. Shall we go ahead with the cataract surgery? So basically, let us come down to all the points together. There is no evidence that eyes with lattice degeneration with or without holes are likely to develop RD in the future. 80% of the regmatogenous RDs are not associated with lattices, number one. Number two, risk of regmatogenous RD in an eye with lattice is only 1.4%. So there is no scientific evidence to suggest that prophylactic laser of the lattice in phakic and non fellow eyes is beneficial. Even laser failed to prevent the regmatogenous RD in 2.9% of these treated eyes and no scientific evidence to suggest that prophylactic laser of the lattice before the refractive surgery is beneficial. Folk and colleagues studied 388 patients with lattice in one eye and RD with lattice in another eye for seven years, of which 151 patients watched, 164 treated fully, and 73 patients partially treated. So there is total 388, 151 was kept on watch, 164 full treatment, 73 partially treated. So of these 151 watched, 5.9% developed RD. 164 fully treated, again 1.8% developed RD, and 73 partially treated, 6.8% developed RD. So this is where we stand. So basically, we should understand the indications, the fellow fakic eye with lattice less than 6 diopters, and in fellow eye before and after cat refractive surgery. So there has been studies, progression to RRD, prophylactic treatment of retinal breaks. Asymptomatic retinal breaks develops in 13% of the cases and symptomatic retinal breaks develops in 35 to 47% of the cases. So incidence of regmatogenous retinal detachment despite prophylactic treatment is 2.1 to 8.8%. In another study, it has been shown that 36.3% of eyes had regmatogenous retinal detachment despite prior laser prophylaxis. An interval of the regmatogenous retinal detachment after laser prophylaxis is usually 
even one week to 10 years. So it can happen at any point of time, irrespective of your laser treatment. So how do we implicate in our practice? In inherited vitreoretinal diseases such as Stickler syndrome, usually we uh, prefer 360 degree prophylactic treatment. The choice of treatment is 360 degree encircling uh, scleral buckling treatments, cryotherapy and or laser photocoagulation. Prevalence of retinal detachment in treated versus untreated eyes is 2.4% in the treated eyes and 24.1% in the untreated eyes. So laser photocoagulation in the fundal coloboma sparing fovea, prevalence of retinal detachment in the treated eyes is 0.6% only. So in, a, in, in the perspective in journal, the peripheral retinal degeneration and the risk of retinal detachment, it was written that the evidence available suggests that most of the peripheral retinal degeneration should not be treated except in rare high-risk situations. It's an American Journal of Ophthalmology. So the treatment recommendations by AAO for HST, always dialysis, always operculum tear, sometimes atrophic holes, rarely lattice, rarely. So the take-home message is lattice in the fellow eye of a patient with RD, Lattice is a, in a symptomatic patient with a family history of RD, symptomatic retinal break, subclinical retinal detachment, and prior to refractive surgery in sometimes situations, we can do a laser treatment. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat>